Hi everyone, today we will see about posterior circulation. This topic as a medicine resident, if you are getting posterior circulation stroke in your uh, final exam as a long case, the examiner might ask you to draw the posterior circulation crossly. So you should know the branches mainly of the vertebral artery and also of the basilar artery. Uh, let us see in short. First we will draw the brain stem. So this will be your midbrain, this is pons and this is medulla, this is the cerebellum. This is cerebellum, hopefully it is looking like a brain stem. Let us saw the let us draw the vessels first grossly. Vertebral artery. We will be having two vertebral artery, one from either side, which unites at the pontomedullary junction to form the basilar artery. And basilar artery continues as posterior circulation artery, which goes and forms the circle of illis. This will be the gross vasculature of the posterior circulation let us go into the branches one by one first of the vertebral artery this is the vertebral artery the first branch will be anterior spinal from both the sides in forms and forms the single anterior spinal artery the second will be posterior spinal artery there will be two posterior spinal artery the third important one is This is third one which is posterior inferior cerebellar artery and the fourth one is medullary branches and the fifth one is the terminal branch which is the basilar artery. So five branches of the vertebral artery what we have seen is five branches of vertebral artery first is anterior spinal we saw posterior spinal artery which is two in number third is pica fourth is medullary branches and the fifth is the terminal branch which is the basilar artery now coming to the second important artery which is the basilar artery the first branch is ica anterior inferior cerebellar artery Second will be the small pontine branches. The third one is somewhat longer branch, which is labyrinthine artery. Fourth one is also important one, which is supplies the superior part of the cerebellum, which is superior cerebellar artery. And the fifth one is the posterior cerebral artery. So five branches of the basilar artery that we saw are one is Ica, first one is, second one is Labyrinthine, third is Pontine branches, fourth Superior Cerebellar and fifth is Posterior Cerebral Artery which continues and form the circle of Willis. The anterior circulation we will discuss in some other video but as of now this is a gross anatomy of the posterior circulation that you should aware of. The long case you might get might be a cerebellar stroke case or there might case of lateral medullary syndrome here you can easily note in lateral medullary syndrome which was involved majority of the time it is pica which is involved in lateral medullary syndrome medial medullary syndrome it is usually the vertebral artery which might be involved so along with this just we will see another just a short overview of the cere cerebral blood supply also. This is the lateral view of the brain stem. This will be the cerebellum. So we already drawn the vertebral artery and the basilar artery. So you will be having the pica, ica, 
ಅಂದರೆ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಸಿರ್ಬಲ್ಲ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಸಿರ್ಬಲ್ಲ ರಾಟ್ರಿ ಐಕ ಅಂಡ್ ಪೈಕೋ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸಿರ್ಬಲ್ಲ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿರ್ಬಲ್ಲ ಅಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ಅವೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಎ ಸ್ಟ್ರೋಕ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಫೈನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅನದರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ನೌ ಥರ್ಡ್ ನೌ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಓವರ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ನೌ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ದ ಪೋಸ್ಟಿಯರ್ ಸೆರೆಬ್ರಲ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ರಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಸೆರೆಬಲ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ರಿ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಅನ್ಯೂರಿಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೋಸ್ಟಿಯರ್ ಸೆರೆಬ್ರಲ್ ಆರ್ ಸುಪೀರಿಯರ್ ಸೆರೆಬಲ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ಟ್ರಿ ಮೈ ಕಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ ದ ಥರ್ಡ್ ನೌ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಮೈ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಫೀಚರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಥರ್ಡ್ ನೌ ಪಾಲ್ಸಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್